Welcome to the 2021 Marigold Festival Virtual Concert. The concert is sponsored by the following businesses. Golden Pantry, Liberty Safes, Sporting Arms Incorporated, J.W. York Homes, Kofer's Home and Garden, Indorama Ventures, and the Commercial Bank. Please thank our generous sponsors. Our first performer, Jim White, will be streaming shortly. This is our big Vegas opening, deconstructing the whole performance experience. Hello, everybody. Welcome, world, to Winterville and the 2021 Marigold Festival virtual concert. Um, this is the second year of us having to do this, and uh, we wanted to do this to honor our sponsors and not ask of them this year, but instead to return the love back to them in a year that's been hard on everybody and especially hard on our uh, sponsors. Um, and we, we come to you tonight, and I come to you tonight, um, and I think Kelly would agree. This is my friend Kelly. I'm Dodd that uh, we come to you with heavy hearts tonight because Athens has lost one of its greatest rock and roll ambassadors and Mr. Danny Hudgens. The silence for him. We're going to have a couple of hours of, uh, of some music to celebrate his life. So I'll turn it over to Kelly to introduce us. Thanks, Dodd. Um, the challenges of the last year and for every loss, certainly many here in Winterville, uh, up to and including Danny. Um, we, we know we've held on to so much, and really what we've held on to is each other. And that is what has made this town resilient. It's what's kept us strong and what's going to keep us strong into the rest of this year. And next year, when we are assured we'll be together in person as an entire community right here at the Marigold Festival in Winterville. I am very excited to get a chance to introduce a fantastic winter villain by way of Florida, New York City, and the entire globe. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jim White. That's Mayor's Dodd Farrell and Kelly Gertz there. We got a high mayor quotient in our audience tonight. It's like a new demographic for me, Mayor's. Thank you. 
Unshackled from the chains, the bonds of foolish promises. Yes, sweet blessings from above descend and reveal their secret purposes. There I throw away my Bible. There I leave this little town. Thank you. I'm doing what I call my midlife crisis set. Uh, a lot of rock and roll, like teenage rock and roll. Uh, I just released an album of teenage rock and roll songs. And uh, this is Mr. Marlon Patton back here playing drums. And bass. He's playing bass with his feet.
cool happens you get these notifications about how popular your ideas are they, they send you your songs the most popular and the least popular and then the first three or four you know there's a few thousand hits on them and as you get down on the list there's the songs that only get like one hit you know for like six months and this is one of those songs uh, <laughs> uh, as my friend Dan Nettles likes to say Dan has introduced me to the amazing drummer back there Marlon he says there's songs that are fun to play, and there are songs that are fun to hear. Um, this is a fun to play song. You ready? Sometimes you gotta take off your shoes, sit right down in middle of the road kick off the dust and just deal with the news that you're blind
the day that I play my last hand As I set out from London for some promised land One thing I hope, it's that it's dreams, not I Despite the uh, pandemic and the um, prohibition of there being an audience, there's more people here in the audience than most of my shows. <laughs> so it's kind of cool, at least in America. Uh, a prophet is never respected in his own land. Um, and with that, <laughs> um, I, uh, my friend Marlon, I, I met him. Uh, it's really cool. Jay Rogers is doing sound back there. How about a hand? He worked really hard. And I met Marlon 12 years ago, 13 years ago, in Jay's studio. I didn't know Jay. I didn't know Marlon. And uh, he, Marlon was playing with a band called Kenosha Kid. And, and I know good drummers. I've traveled around the world. I've played with some of the best drummers in the world, and he's one of them. And uh, so to hear him playing in this little studio down in, in uh, Watkinsville was really exciting. So I got his phone number, and we went out a couple of dates, and we're married now. And uh, <laughs> no, not well, well, we're married musically. Um, but uh, it was so cool, he was playing jazz that day. And I thought, man, one day I'm going to write a jazz song so that me and Marlon can play jazz together. And uh, so I, I kind of came up with one. And uh, we're going to play it for you now. There is no, no title to it. It's called The Song I Wrote to Play Jazz with Marlon, I think is what we'll call it. Um, Face with his foot.
Champions! Oh, yeah, okay. Here's that blue tape. When I first started playing, I put bobby pins in the strings of my guitar because I couldn't afford a drummer like Marlon. I later moved to painter's tape. It doesn't move around as much. It's disconcerting in the middle of a solo to see a bobby pin wandering around your fretboard. <laughs> So a 
last last night. Last night I was sitting in my chair in my house, you know, being a dad, you know, being old, you know, sitting in my chair, staring out the window, thinking about all the life's wandering trails, and I heard, "Hey, bud," and I turned around and looked, and I said, "Hey," and uh, it was my daughter who I haven't seen in a year. Um, <laughs> as you can see, she's very shy and demure, um, and she surprised. It was pretty cool. She she came uh, she came from California and she wanted to surprise me, so she came all the way. From the airport by herself on her own with a 900 pound suitcase on her own and it's a very beautiful but... very beautiful surprise and she brought her possum with her uh, boy the possum is in attendance tonight it's not the first show i played with a possum but one of the one of the handful all right um this i grew up in pensacola florida and they got uh they got a lot of jesus's down there uh it's like uh, what memphis is for elvis impersonators they got the jesus impersonators in pensacola um Anyway, so this this one is a uh, this is just sort of a hats off to all my 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 friendly Jesuses down there. Um, call it Jesus drove a motorhome. <laughs>
My darling daughter. Possum like that song? <laughs> All right. Now, I have a tendency of going longer than I should, so someone should warn me if I'm getting too too far into the... Uh, the oops. That was a sound I have not heard before. Oh, I know what it was. It's always a, it's always like a sort of a bronco ride. Uh, my my shows. <laughs> there's a, there's always lots going on. Uh, I I would like to be professional, but it's just not constitutionally possible for me. Um,
fiction. I'm a monster trip attraction. A roadside religion. My life's a schizophrenic burden of a psychedelic vision. Hey, hey, yeah. Well, hey, hey, yeah. uh, hey, hey. In the lost hills on a substance of cheap thrills, he was killed in a dispute over pumpkins. In a sordid revelation, the neighbor told the nation, My life's a stolen picture, I'm a movie on a TV, I'm a 50 gallon drum of ass whooping fiction, I'm a monster truck attraction, a roadside religion. My life's a schizophrenic version of a psychedelic vision. Hey, hey. Check of the head high, stack of burning tires, check out the plastic guitars, the misdirected stars, the dopey bimbo barflies with the mopey muscle car guys, when the snow child and the moon child's got no natural defense, we got the shit, we got the van, hey turn that knob, the front commences, yeah my life's a story, picture of you and me, I'm on your TV, I'm a pony in transmission, let me be your funky DJ, hey hey! When it came walking out of the woods, walking upright, you know, like a man. And he was big and he was covered with fur, you know, like hair. And he smelled real bad, like a skunk or something, man. I, 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 I could be wrong. I mean, I might be wrong, but I think it was a Sasquatch. I think it was a Sasquatch. I swear it was a Sasquatch. I shook sure hands with that Sasquatch. Sucker looked me square in the eye and he goes, Ooh, uh, uh, ooh, uh, uh, ooh, uh, uh, ooh. Give us spider web addiction. Give the geek with his affliction. Let us hack the rope of goodness with the acts of contradiction. Between the glitter and the lies behind the layers of disguise. The lame have seeing eyes, my friend, the blind sail through the sky. Beneath the Alabama chrome, there lies the heresy of Rome. Some there ain't no highway home, so clean the mail from the bone. And from the darkness, deep within, you smell the sweet perfume of sin. As you set the fuse to burn and watch the learning curve a turn. Yeah, bending and the twerking, and the twerking and the twisting. We're sending you all up. My life's a stolen picture, like some movie on a TV. I'm a 50 gallon drum of ass whooping fiction. I'm a monster truck attraction, a roadside religion. My life's a schizophrenic version of a psychedelic vision. Yeah, So I released a record during the pandemic. Uh, it was songs that I'd written that, that uh, were very adolescent. And it was like I had all this pent up energy in it. It felt good to get it out. Um, and and, and uh, some, most of these songs like that one, they're, they're off of that record. I never got to play them live. So this is kind of the first time I've ever got to do it. Um, and with fabulous drummer back there and a fine audience of my fellow town mates, it's pretty cool. Um, this one's called Monkey in a Silo, and I actually wrote this uh, before many of you were born. 
1994 or three, something like that. Not many born before that, right? <laughs> Possum too. Possum, possum in a, a hamper? <laughs> Doesn't have the same energy, does it? Um, I've never played this song live before, ever. And I, did we rehearse the song? We did. He just came down for the weekend and I said, hey, you want to do this thing? And he's like, yeah. And so we rehearsed. Um, but he knows me. I change everything. 
we, we rehearse it and then we go in and I play something completely different because the adult ADD is a real factor in the whole overall proposition known as Jim White. <laughs> Marlon is so great. I've worked with him for years. When you listen to that song on, on Misfits Jubilee, you will hear Marlon playing, uh, just letting loose in the best of ways. And I, never, I was never able to get him mad, and I tried so hard. Um, he got mad at me once when he was, I was trying to get him to hit this triangle and mute it. Do you remember that? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 no. You have to, you have to, and he tried like 50 different times, and then he said, I graduated with an advanced degree in percussion from the University of Georgia. I know what a triangle sounds like! <laughs> That's the only time he ever, in 10 years, and 10 records probably, got mad at me. And I felt like, okay, we've reached the boundary. That you, that you know of. <laughs> That's right, okay. All right, so let's try this one. Uh, yeah. So I just get it. This is like a like a. Uh, this is a grandpa having a dream about being. You ever have those dreams that you're back in high school? Yeah, I, I do at times, and it's this is a grandpa having a dream about being in high school. I see the jack o' lantern in your smile. The liquor store's about two miles away. Like every day's not Halloween. Like we're not pressures at last. The masquerade, the big charade, the dumb parade, the price you pay when you set your ass on fire and call yourself a jet plane. I'd sell my soul. Friends are lost apostles, they search for missing saviors in malls and supermarkets. My heart's like an RV run out of gas. I got nowhere to park it. My pocket's empty, my socket's dry. The jocks are watching, so I can't even cry. Gotta sell my soul for some two bit lie. A bullshit piece of pie in the sky. I'd sell my soul.
I think that's pretty close to the end, right? One more? Okay, let's do wonders and every season. Right? Already? Well, you know, I've got to figure out how to do this without making this dead wheel squeal. I have to pick up the bootstrap guitar. That was intentional. You people don't have any idea the life that musicians go through. Just one little jack and our lives are ruined. Man, them firecrackers in my suitcase. About set the whole damn motel ablaze. Of course, the motel's as good a place as any to let your demons fly. Then on the morning after, amidst the blessing of silence, I heard the policeman say it was a miracle I was alive. Well, this I can't say, cause I don't know, though I'm fond of such foolish conjecture. We're in the sweet can down to nothing, nothing better than a fool's reminder. Wonders never cease. Them wonders never cease. Yes, wonders never cease. Oh, God, don't make the river straight. Hey, hey, my friend. Now. Crossword puzzles talking to me. But it's spelling out a word so true it hurts. I have to put down the paper. The snap on man gives me a ride. He tries to witness to me. I tell him, sir, the fruits of your insights are luminous limitations. This in one man's heaven is the next man's hell, brother. Even the word love is a prison. You say by grace it's just as well. In fact, it's Perfect contradiction Seeing that wonders never cease And wonders never cease Yes, wonders never cease But God don't make the river straight And hey, my friend Now With a divorcee from Texas, we proclaim ourselves the rulers of an undiscovered empire, and this life will settle for nothing less. We got our outcast destiny, we feel the bright light of knowing. We ain't ashamed of our past, cause it is undone by our present beholding. We holding a funeral for our fears, tap dancing on the grave of dead religion. Company, a so called saints to run wild through the fields of redemption. Shout, wonders never cease. We believe that wonders never cease. Yes, and wonders never cease. Oh, God, don't make the river string in my brain. Thank you for coming out and thank you for listening in the faraway world. Mark, Mr. Marlon Patton, I'm Jim White. King Stone's coming up next. Stay safe, everybody.
Okay. 2021 Marigold Festival. How about a hand, a virtual global hand for Jim White? So um, we've had some sponsor videos running. We'd love to thank our sponsors, our Marigold level sponsors. We can't do this without you. Um, this year, we didn't want to. We didn't want to ask you for money, for money because everybody has been through so much. Uh, we will be back next year, um, as long as everything continues to go as it is, for 2022 Marigold Festival in Pittard Park and some changes that we're excited about. The board members are here. How about a hand for the board members of the Marigold Festival? And putting this together, um, and they do such a good, such a great job. So thank you all. And. Um, Here's the Marigold Festival t-shirt that is available. Somebody tell me how. It's available on, we've got a link on the Facebook page and the Marigold Festival Facebook page. So check that out. But this is the t-shirt. Marissa Mustard is the artist of the, Marigold Artist of the Year, and she was last year, so we continued this shirt through the last two years. So um, everything new and brand new next year. Happy early Mother's Day to everyone. Again, our hearts are with the Bloodkin family. Kelly and I were talking. As we were listening to Jim, we weren't talking too loud, though. But we were talking, and, um, you know, our, our town is so special. It's one of the biggest music scenes in the world, yet we're such a close family. And when we lose one of our own, it's hard. And it's hard on all of us. Um, so um, we're thinking about you guys, Eric, uh, Mills, Neff's here tonight. Um, we're just such a close family. And, we all, you know, we're... we're it, it, it's just a tight-knit community, this music scene and art scene. So we're, uh, our thoughts are with the Bloodkin family and, and uh, all the fans of Bloodkin for sure. So we'll miss Danny. Um, but right now, um, I'd like uh, Kelly and John to help me with a presentation. Uh, Envision Athens is a big, uh, and then Kelly's done such a great job in envisioning that and the 20-year kind of master or com conference of plan that, we did, did it a lot different this year, or uh, the, this time, and I think it's just great. I mean, I, th I think it's connected us to the real need, you know, instead of just producing abundance and having it available, it's connecting us to the needs that are out there, and it's improving our community, and Kelly deserves a hand. Blaine deserves a hand for that, so Mayor Gertz, um, and Envision Athens, Erin couldn't be with us tonight. She's had her second shot, so she's not feeling great. But uh, she, puts, she put uh, uh, Envision Athens in good hands tonight with John. So, um, John, do you have anything to say? Yeah, I just wanted to thank uh, the City of Winterville and Marigold Festival for having us tonight. And we are honored to get to honor a couple great Wintervillians. And I think you've already seen the videos, if you're watching online, of Shawanda Johnson, who is one of our, yeah, let's celebrate Shawanda. <laughs> Selected as one of our Marigold Good Neighbor winners tonight, and we are going to celebrate another Marigold Good Neighbor, and I'll pass it back to you, Mayor Dodd. And, and, I, and I'd like Kelly to say a few words because the Neighborhood Leader Program, the Prosperity Project, has been a game changer for our community, and it's been a game changer for people in need especially, and it couldn't have come at a better time because during a pandemic, you know, all of a sudden people weren't, the, the helpers weren't allowed to go out, so we had to bridge the gap somewhere and somehow, and thank God for the Prosperity Project and the neighborhood leaders. Kelly, would you like to say anything about that? Just wanna say that really part of what makes this town, this community tick, is that we're bound together and we seek ways to make connections and to support one another. That's certainly true in the music scene. It's, it's true when you think about the, uh, the Neighborhood Leaders Program that's held by Family Connections Communities and Schools of Athens. And when we walk out the front door and we've all had such a challenging year just to see somebody we care about and who we know is gonna be supportive of us and us being supportive of them is what makes this all tick. So I I'm grateful for the entire Envision Athens team. Dodd and I are so lucky to be on the implementation committee for that because that is all about being the glue binding us together. So, John? Yeah, so um, you, like I said earlier, um, I call her superhero, but everybody else knows her as Shawanda, and she was the first recipient, and we'll be running the video. She couldn't be here tonight because she's at her daughter's basketball tournament in Florida, I believe. Um, but we have a video presentation that we made earlier to her 
and we presented her with the Good Neighbor Award, and she has worked hand-in-hand -hand with this next recipient who um, had a big day today, and um, in the second or the grand opening, we had the soft opening last week, but the grand opening of our Marigold Market and the Marigold Collective um, that she has put her passion and energy behind, and in a and in a pandemic year, she took a marigold market and branded it in one year. And this year, it's off and running again. And we already have food abundance in our new cold storage room in the barbecue hut that we repurposed that hasn't been used in 15 years. We now have food for citizens that need. The food insecure around our community are going to benefit from our market this week, next week, when they need that affordable fresh food alternative. Um, so. She now gets the superhero designation. So our second Good Neighbor Award for the Marigold Festival tonight goes to Sherry Anderson. Would you come up here, the Marigold Market Manager? <laughs> Sherry from Envision Athens, the Good Neighbor Award. Thank you for all you do for our community and all you've done and all you will do because these benefits will go far beyond what we do today. They'll to last for years and years and years. How about a hand for Sherry? I always like to talk. It's been such an honor to help connect uh, the community with local farmers. It's something I've had a passion for a very long time, and I'm excited to be a part of this and, and to connect you guys. Um, I'm in this for the long haul. I, I'm very much about the long-term relationships with the farmers and with the community and getting the community to know who their farmers are. So thank you. And Sherry and Shawanda working together with Laura Ney from UGA Cooperative Extension have, uh, have done just that. They've, they've become a superhero team in connecting us with the, the growers, the producers, and the, and the people that need that um, most of all in our community. So we're grateful to her. She's a good neighbor. Shawanda Johnson, our neighborhood leader, is a definitely a good neighbor. Good neighbors all around us. So thank you, Envision Athens. Thank you, John, for being here tonight. We miss you, Aaron. Hopefully you're feeling better. So guys, let's hold up our symbols here. I'm going to show mine. John has a bag. God has a sticker. Oh. Wanda, have you, have you seen this anywhere? Does this look familiar to you? No. So Envision um, Athens, as you know, the 20 year plan, we are founded on the values of unity, equity, prosperity, and compassion. And um, we decided collectively that 2020 was a really challenging year and we needed to make 2021 all about honoring and celebrating these values and people that embody those values and show up with them and everything that they do. So whenever we have opportunity, we want to um, hit the pause button and celebrate people who are good neighbors who really show up with those values. And some people show up and show out with those values. They're next level. And um, we have a couple of those people who have really showed up and stepped out in um, Winterville this year. And so uh, Dodd has an announcement for you and that relates to uh, what's going on next weekend. So we have a little bit of a surprise for you. So Shawanda, you have been selected as a good neighbor to receive the Good Neighbor Award. Um, can I tell her who else? Yeah. Okay, so, well, we can't tell her though, it's a secret. So <laughs> Sherry, you, 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 and, you and Sherry have been selected for the Good Neighbor Awards for your Yay. work in our community. And um, let me just tell you how much I appreciate you. And that's why I call you superhero because you truly are to me and to this community. You have connected us to the people who truly need our help. And I told someone the other day that my, I would be a failure as a public servant if I didn't serve the public who needed me the most. And you helped me do that. And I thank you every day for that. Um, you are the lifeblood of this community truly. And I appreciate you every day. Thank you, superhero Shawanda. You are a good neighbor. It's too hot to cry. Are you, I'm, tearing up. I'm tearing up too just looking at you. We've spent so much time together over this last year and more feeding people and helping people and running running uh, beside each other and waving as we run by each other with bags of food and this or that and at the house feeding people for Thanksgiving and I so much appreciate you and your family and everything you do for this community and you truly are. I thought about it just came to me the other day that the word lifeblood 
um, you truly are that to me in this community because you get you get the the things that we have, the abundance that we have um, in the pipeline to those who need it. So you connect us directly to the people who need it. So we know that our 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 um, that our mission is being accomplished because of you. So thank you so much. And I have to give, as we close out, I have to give a shout out to Winterville and Mayor Dodd. Um, John will tell you whenever we talk about the work of abundance and trying to increase fresh food access, you know, of all the success measures that I thought had a reason not to happen in 2020, the one that I thought was really out of our reach was opening a new farmer's market, the Marigold Market. And I'm still not completely sure how you guys pulled it off, but you have some magic in Winterville. I would like some of it and I'm very proud of you. And uh, we're so happy to partner and uh, really just happy to celebrate you, Shawanda. So thank you so much for everything you've done to be a good neighbor. So and to add to that, and to add to that not, to, not to step on your speech, uh, Shawanda, but <laughs> we wouldn't have the, the magic that exists out here wouldn't, um, be possible without the magicians and I, I've said that before and Shawanda is one of our many magicians in the city that create the magic so speech no pressure thank you, <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate it um growing up people always help me and my mom and our family so I definitely know what it feels like to get something without having to do anything or pass a test or fill out bundles of paperwork so I just try to just do that for everybody and anybody that I come across period so I love to help and bless as long as you bless you'll get blessings so I'm all about that blessings thank you yes all right I told you it would take three minutes but we had so many good things to say it really took more like seven so yep. <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you all, all. And Shawanda, I'm about to go over and sign the contract on the bank. Yay! <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna excited. run. I'm gonna run. Thank you all. Thanks, Thanks guys. You Take you care. All. Yep. See you Bye. later. Bye everyone. Be safe. Congratulations. Bye. Thanks. And I'll turn it over to Mayor Gertz for our next introduction. Well, as everybody knows a thing that has drawn people to this community and kept people in this community is the fact that on every block, there just seems to be a baker's dozen of fabulous musicians. I've got one here on stage with me. We heard another one earlier tonight in Jim White. And we are so glad that we're not in London. We're not in Tokyo. We're not in Paris, but we are right here in Winterville, Georgia to hear the Pink Stones. Woo! Hello, everybody.
we made a record uh, this past year, or it came out this past year, and that's the first song on that record. Now we're going to play a song that we've never played before, um, and we've practiced it twice, but it sounds pretty freaking awesome, so... Uh, the other mayor of Winterville uh, started out on the pedal steel over here. <laughs> Cause I feel more blue than red tonight hey, Whispering pines don't mean much to you But they're all that makes me feel home The passing of time don't seem fast to you But before long everything's gone Put down your roses and bring out your poppies Cause I feel more blue than red tonight
it's midnight And I got two bottles of wine And I don't want to come down Oh, baby, not yet Cause there's something I found And I can't describe it yeah. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much. Yeah, we're excited to play in uh, Winterville for the first time. We practice here every now and then and play ping pong and stuff, but try playing here. It's harder to play to less people. I feel more nervous than I normally would. And it's so dark, so it feels like there's a lot of people, but I know there's not. But thanks to everyone who's tuning in from afar. Um, yeah, I hope we sound all right.
I have a tiny bit more of my vocal in my uh, monitor? Sorry.
when it's your time And maybe then my phone can shine My phone can shine My phone can shine Thank you. Both of those are songs from our record. It is called Introducing the Pink Stones. Uh, we put it out oh, like a month or so ago on Normal Town Records. Feels pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, we're happy to be here. Thanks to everyone from the Marigold Fest for having us. They knew we were coming because there was a bunch of Modelo backstage. Thank you. Y'all too. Good enough to keep us happy. Cool. We'll do a fast uh, drinking song. Let's go. Thank you. How we doing out there? Getting some likes on Facebook, I hope. What's Twitter saying? Yeah. 
Yeah, this place is super cool too. Uh, we'll probably have a show here when it's safe again. So yeah, that'll, that'll happen, yeah. Drink it down, sweat me out The problems come back when the high wears down The next time winter's rolling around I'll be nowhere to be found
Thank you. Thank you. We're going to try out another new number. Uh, we normally have another guy with us uh, who plays guitar, but he couldn't make it tonight. Um, so I'm going to try and play guitar instead. Not taking the first solo. John can uh, get his head. We're still learning the new material. Sometimes you make me be real slow. 
let my heart beat fast Sometimes you make it be real slow Cool, yeah, thank you. We got a few more songs. I'm going to surprise the band here with a song that's not on the set list. I don't think I think much when I think of you. But I guess I thought about enough Cause it's turning me blue And I don't think I dream much Now that I've been dreaming of you But you're walking around inside my head You left me with nothing to do I don't think I've seen much since I've been seeing you But that's okay cause I'm on my way You know I'm gonna find something new There ain't much to dream about There ain't much to dream about And it's hard to get around Thank you, thank you. I think we got two more songs. That's a brand new one, too. We're going to make another record, and all those new songs will be on it. Oh, 
York City with a call-in radio show. She don't give a darn more than Howard Stern, and her ratings are far from low. But hey, she's got two subjects, you know she don't tread on much. She don't talk bad about her savior, she cranks up for a diesel truck. So I put my See, I don't normally play that guitar solo, so it came back to the vocal, and I, you know, didn't know what was happening. But also, this is the second show we're playing back after COVID. So thank you for being here with us. It feels really cool to play music again. We also didn't even really get together as a band all that much over the year, so it's kind of crazy to just hang out together again. We all got vaccinated, which most everyone should do as well. So it feels really good to be in here hanging out. Yeah, we'll do one more song. Won't you come back? 
We've been the Pink Stone. How about another hand for the Pink Stones? So thank you all. So the 2021 Marigold Festival is in the books, the virtual concert. Here's the board. Here's our sponsors. There's David Matthews Morgan from the Arts Council. David ran the live streaming tonight. Jay, thank you, buddy. Love you. Great job, Jay Rogers on sound. Um, I'm glad we got the Pink Stones this year because we won't be able to afford them next year. <laughs> so, uh, so thank you to them. Jim White, thank you. Old Guard Graphics t-shirts. Order t-shirts online. You can get these t-shirts online. And um, Emily here responsible for bringing the festival back years and years and years ago is going to read a thank you to our sponsors is that cool with you so so but first of all david michael amanda emily me Dodd, james mary barrett this is the marigold festival board we're missing one daniel collins we'll be back in action next year to put on the heavy lift of getting this festival alive and in person for y'all where's mayor gertz kelly are you up here with us come join us Thank you, Mayor Gertz, for being a part of our community tonight. We always love having you out. Wherever you are, please come join us on stage. As Emily reads the thank yous, there he is. He's coming. I tell you what, this guy's done a great job through a pandemic. This has been a hard year for all of us. <clears throat> a hard year for all of us. We're coming out of it, we hope. We're coming out of it. Um, it's going to be different, but we're all going to be together again, and it's great to be together tonight, globally, virtually, with Jim, the Pink Stones, um, the Marigold Festival Board, and now Emily will read a thank you to our sponsors. Thank you. Okay, super big thanks here. Oh, I didn't bring my glasses up. Nobody told me I was going to do this. Okay. But anyway, super big thanks to our Marigold level sponsors. Golden Pantry, Sporting Arms, your local Liberty Safe dealer, JW York Homes, Kofers Home and Garden, Indorama Ventures, and the Commercial Bank. They make the festival happen. Thank you all. 
All right, so we're going to blow you a kiss goodbye from 2021 Marigold Festival. We will see you next year on three board. You ready? One, two, three. Thank you. Good night. thank our sponsors Golden Pantry Liberty Safes Sporting Arms Incorporated J.W. York Homes Kofers Home and Garden Indorama Ventures and the Commercial Bank Have a wonderful evening